Hello everyone. My name is Pranjit Biswas and I am a solution architect here at AWS. In today's video, I'm going to talk about our new announcement around Amazon CloudFront SaaS Manager, which is a new feature that helps software as a service or SaaS providers, web development platform providers and companies with multiple brands and websites efficiently manage their delivery across multiple domains. Customers already use CloudFront to securely deliver content with low latency and high transfer speeds. CloudFront SaaS Manager addresses a critical challenge these companies face, managing tenant websites at scale, each requiring TLS certificates, distributed denial of service protection, and performance monitoring. So to start with, in our agenda, I'm gonna quickly show you how it works, and then actually I'm gonna show you a demo of CloudFront SaaS Manager in action. Having said that, let's just talk about how it works. So in CloudFront, you can use multi-tenant SaaS deployments, a strategy where a single CloudFront distribution serves content for multiple distinct tenants, users, or organizations. CloudFront SaaS Manager uses a new template-based distribution model called multi-tenant distribution to serve content across multiple domains while sharing configuration and infrastructure. However, if supporting single websites or application, a standard distribution would be better or recommended. A template distribution defines the base configuration that will be used across domains such as origin configurations, cache behaviors, and security settings. Each template distribution has a distribution tenant to represent domain-specific origin paths or origin domain names, including web access control list or ACL overrides and custom TLS certificates. With that, let's move on to the demo. So now I'm gonna switch to my console. So here in my console, I'm gonna go to the CloudFront service. And for the benefit of time, I've already created a couple of distributions uh, already in it. So to start with, I've already created, if you observe a distribution, which is related to my silver tier customers and also I've created another tier called bronze tier for my bronze tier customers. And then I have created distribution tenants, couple of tenants, one tenant belongs to uh, the bronze tier, the another tenant belongs to a silver tier. Now, what is meant by tenants and what is this multi-tenant distributions? So let me give you an example to help you understand the capabilities of CloudFront SaaS Manager. Now let's say, assume you have a company called MyStore, a popular e-commerce platform that helps your customer easily set up and manage an online store. Now MyStore's tenants already enjoy outstanding customer service, security, reliability, and ease of use with little setup required to get a store up and running, resulting in a 99.95% .95 uptime for the last 12 months. Customers of my store are evenly distributed across three different pricing tiers, bronze tier, silver tier, and gold tier. And each customer is assigned a persistent mystore.app subdomain. Now you can apply these tiers to different customer segments, customized settings, and operational regions. For example, you can add AWS WAF or web application firewall service in the gold tier as an advanced feature. In this example, MyStore has decided not to maintain their own web servers to handle TLS connections and security for a growing number of applications hosted on their platform. They are evaluating CloudFront to see if that will help them reduce operational overhead. Now let's find how as MyStore, you configure your customers' websites distributed in multiple tiers with the CloudFront SaaS Manager. Now, 
as I have mentioned, I've already created bronze and silver tier. So for our demo purpose, let me create a gold tier. So I go to multi-tier distributions and then in the distribution, I select multi-tenant architecture. I click on next and in here, let me give the tier name as gold tier. I'm gonna go with very basic settings, not adding more and more information over here, just for the demo purpose. Now, I select origin type as default Amazon S3. I've already created a S3 bucket for our gold tier customers. So I'm gonna browse the S3 and I'm gonna select my store website three as my S3 origin. Use recommended origin settings, keep everything as default. Next page, I am gonna select do not enable security protections, but you can enable for your gold tier WAF protections as well as a, a premium feature as. Click next and then create distribution. So while this distribution is getting deployed, if you see over this here, the status is deploying, I'm gonna create my first tenant within the gold tier. So when I create the first tenant, it's gonna ask me the distribution tenant name. And this is my store three, which is belonging to my gold tier. And I'm gonna select gold tier. I can select either of them. So for the demo purpose, I've selected gold tier over here. Click on next. I'm gonna keep everything default. I'm gonna select a domain that I need. So let's say this is belonging to my premiumstore.com, next, next, and then create the distribution tenant. So with that, what I've done is, I've gone through and created a tenant within my gold tier distribution. So if you observe here, I have now three different tiers, bronze, silver, and gold. And within that I have created different tenants that belongs to different tiers. So for example, my store one customer site, which belongs to, with domain name myflowerstore.com, for example, belongs to the bronze tier, okay? And then if I go back here, my store customer site belongs to the silver tier. Similarly, my store three customer site belongs to the gold tier. So you can create a distribution tenant to add your active customer to be associated with any tiers that they are supposed to be. So over here, using this CloudFront SaaS manager within the CloudFront uh, service, each tenant can be associated with up to one multi-tenant distribution. You can add one or more domains of your customers to a distribution tenant and assign custom parameter values such as origin domains and origin paths. A distribution tenant can also inherit the TLS certificate the, and security configuration of its associated multi-tenant distribution. You can also attach a new certificate specifically for the tenant or you can override the tenant security configuration. Having said that, I wanted to speak about one more additional information over here. So typically, by default, your AWS account has one connection group that handles all your CloudFront traffic. Now, what we can do is we can enable over here in the settings, we can enable the connection group and automatically the connection group comes under SaaS. Uh, and then over here, if you see, this is the default connection group uh, that is used for all your CloudFront traffic. But for your premium tier, you can definitely create additional connection group and have more control over traffic management and tenant isolation. So that is another feature that you can use uh, using create connection group. With that, let's move on to our presentation. So here I have put a couple of QR codes as a reference. The first QR code is for our CloudFront SaaS manager documentation page to learn more about this product. And the second QR code is for you to try it out and send us feedback through our AWS repost for Amazon CloudFront.
or you can also provide your feedback through your usual AWS support contacts. With that, this video comes to a conclusion. I hope this was useful to all of you. Happy building at AWS.